Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Everything Cleaning YouTube channel. This one we're going to dive deeper into pricing, and this is going to be specifically for window cleaning services. So I have a spreadsheet here. This is going to be shared in the description down below. As you can see, it's brought to you by Responsibid. Again, I'll leave some links down below if you guys want to try these out. Now we're going to be making more content around these and how they've helped our business scale. So pricing is a huge thing in, in other groups, like Facebook groups, people looking, how do I price? Am I underpricing? Is this too cheap? People aren't accepting my offer. Is it too low? Is it too high? People are getting frustrated. So Responsive had put together this Google Doc. It's going to help you show what you need to be charging per hour to um, cover your expenses and then also make a profit. So it's good to know your area and kind of what the pricing is like, but also if you're a brand new business, it's only you, you can afford to uh, charge a little bit less. Yes, you don't want to undercut the market because that just doesn't, it's not good for anybody. It's going to be hard for you to like raise your prices as you, as you grow. So understand what the, what the common price is for a lot of the services, but once you understand your fixed and variable costs, you'll know if, if you do 300 and people are saying no, you can see that maybe you can afford 225 to get those first jobs in. So let's dive into this. You'll see here, there's a little link uh, to help you use it as well. I'm going to be using that to walk you through it as I've done this a while ago. So I might forget some of the things, but let's make this a little bit smaller. So fixed cost is going to be everything that you pay, no matter if you work or not. Examples, we have a virtual assistant, we have machine payments, we have truck insurance, we have truck payments, all of our CRMs, um, marketing, yeah, that's whether we work or not, to running, cell phone, QuickBooks, that sort of stuff. Don't forget, if you pay for something annually, you can divide that by 12 and enter it in here. So maybe you paid for a, so for an example, we actually did site docs for our safety protocols that was hundred dollars a month variable cost this is gonna be stuff that you pay if you work so let me so here in the variable costs uh, tab we're gonna look at things that happen that like are costing you when you work. So an example, labor. So we have um, a list of different things you can account for. We have supplied you with a few examples. So uh, fuel, labor, chemicals, supplies. And again, this is gonna be based around window cleaning and um, other services. There, there's gonna be other variable costs, but this example is gonna be for window cleaning. So we have, you have per hour, per week costs, per month costs and per year costs, whatever uh, works best for you to get those numbers. So for us, for fuel, we pay our fuel invoice on a monthly basis. That's what it costs. Supplies, again, monthly invoice, that's on average what we're paying per month for uh, our supplies. And then labor obviously is gonna be a per hour. So take the average of all your employees. So if you have two, three, four, add them all together, divide them by however many it is, and get that price in there. Sales commission. This is if you have salespeople, we don't. So we're going to do that blank. So yeah, don't put multiple prices. Just pick one for each one. Next is going to be your calculations. So estimated work hours per month. So like it says here, this is man hours, not clocked hours of work. So desired profit. So this is desired profit margin. This is how much percent of work you want to be profit. Um, we just put number 75 and all calculations will now be figured out at 75% profit. 
So we're going to do 35% profit we want. Now we don't change what's in the green. The green is calculations. So we don't touch any of those. And so total fixed costs is, this is simply a total of all the fixed costs. Don't edit this. So this is what I pay every single month, whether we work or not. The next one, this is your variable costs adjusted to the hourly amount. So $60. And then based on the cost, the hours you plan to work and the profit you require, this is the uh, this is the amount you need to charge per hour to meet your goals. That's this one here. So 160, 160, so 320, that's two people. So we need to um, require an hourly rate of $92 per hour. And that will get us $7,600 per month in profit, $24 per hour in profit. So this is, this is like your crucial number right here. This is what you need to be hitting per hour to cover your costs and make your profit. So if we go back to 50, you have to do $102 per hour. Okay. So now we have a bunch of different templates here. This is based on Responsibid and their pricing software. So we're going to go down to window cleaning. Now, for us, we have figured that window cleaning per square footage is how we have figured it to be the best for us. And so now you're going to be putting in, you know, under 1600 square feet. What's that taking you time wise and so forth. Now you have questions like, so we have questions like, do you have deck glass, second story, third story? premium packaging, exterior and interior, right? So you have to put the different information for all these things. Then you'll have an idea. So this job, this is being calculated from all of our previous inputs. So this is what we need to be charging for each one of these to be hitting our numbers. So I hope this video and this template is going to help you just these three categories right here is going to be a big eye opener. One to see what your fixed costs are, see what you can cut back on potentially what you're spending in terms of uh, variable costs. And then this here, this is going to be a big eye opener to you to kind of see if you're hitting your hourly rate. We found out that we are, we do about $120 per hour. So, we have some wiggle room in there, but we're hitting everything we need to be able to cover our costs and still grow. So if you have any questions, you want to jump on a one-on-one -on -one and go through this together, any questions about Responsibid or how we are using these tools to scale our business to $1 million a year, leave it in the comments. Be happy to connect with you and, and see how I can help you grow.